You can start by having the own gym um, around mid-thigh or full inversion height, whichever is most comfortable for you and easiest to get into. I'm going to start with inversion height because I'm already sitting in here and now I'm going to show you how to proceed into standing area poses. spreading the fabric nice and wide and slipping it over your heel. The reason we do this is for comfort level. We don't want to put the material right in the middle of the foot because when we place our full weight on our foot, this could cause some cutting and discomfort. So, right onto your heel, just like that. Foam grips over to the side. You're going to place your knees and ankles together and bring your hands from behind around the own gym and take a hold of your upper handles. Take a nice deep breath and push it down into your feet. Come straight up into standing into mountain pose. Just take a nice deep breath and from here take a hold of your upper handles and on a slow exhale we're going to open up our legs nice and wide. Use your arms to control the width by hooking them around your straps and then inhale. Draw yourself up nice and tall. Pull up through the abdominals and again. We'll do this four to six times. And we'll bring our hands back and come into mountain pose for a little break. Okay, so now we're going to try warrior one. We're going to begin by bringing our right arm in front of the sling and pivoting our hips over to the left, just like you're about to take a step. You're going to take both hands and take a hold of your upper handle. And you're going to slide this little adjustment lever up above your knee and slip your knee between the, both the two uh, sets of straps on either side just to stabilize your knee. This isn't really necessary always, but it's a good idea for safety. And now holding onto your handles, release and extend your back leg as far as you comfortably can. Keep moving your right hip forward and pull down on your upper handles to lengthen through the front of the torso. Move your shoulder blades down your back and take some nice deep breaths. Good. And coming up, we're going to come back into mountain pose briefly, take a breath, and then prepare for the other side. Pivoting the hips forward to the right. Take your left arm out in front. Position your right knee between the uh, strips of fabric. Take a hold of your upper handles. Draw your chest up nice and high by pulling down. And begin to release your left leg back. Try to remember to keep the right ankle underneath the knee so that your leg bends at a 90 degree angle to protect your knees. <sighs> Deep stretch. Working the upper body as well as opening up the hips. Good. And coming back up. We're going to return back into mountain pose. And now, we're going to practice Hanumanasana. Flying monkey pose, or sometimes known as the splits. Don't be intimidated, this is a lot easier than you think. We're going to this time bring both arms in front. Take a hold of your upper handles. Once again, we're going to pivot our hips to the left and holding onto the upper handles and really offloading the weight. Just slowly, ever so slowly, breathing. Ah, release yourself down. You'd be surprised how deep you can go this way, much further than you could if you've ever tried this on the ground. I'm holding very tightly onto my upper handles. I'm going to take one more breath and release as deep as I can. And coming back up, take a deep breath and we'll do the other side. Rotating the hips over to the right. Slowly, that's the key here. Don't rush, breathe, trust yourself. So we're going to bring our hands behind us, 
straps. Swing back into cobra, lift the heart. Release your upper body down into your sling. Let go. And just take a few deep breaths here. 